Human life is precious. From the very moment of conception till natural death, human life is sacred. It is precious. The reason is very simple is that life, human life as well as supernatural life, comes from God who is the author of all life. After the tragedy of the legalization of abortion in the United States, which took place January 22, 1973, when the Supreme Court legalized abortion with the decision of Roe v. Wade, another very heinous and ugly reality is spreading throughout the world as well as the country. And it's Physician-assisted suicide, and we can call it euthanasia. Already the state of Oregon and two other states have legalized euthanasia. What is this? An elderly person who has limitations, possibly Alzheimer's, kidney failure, is on dialysis, these sicknesses or illnesses has, have visited this individual. Therefore, many people feel that what's important is quality of life. If the quality of life no longer exists, then why should the person even live? The person is a burden to society. He's a burden to his family. He's even a burden to himself. This is a very anti-Christian attitude. First and foremost is because God gives life. And second is because with human life exists suffering. And only Catholicism gives a positive meaning to suffering only in as much as the individual makes the decision to accept his cross, his suffering, to unite his cross and suffering to the cross and suffering of Jesus Christ, placing his suffering on the altar when the Mass is celebrated. His suffering is united to Christ as he, Jesus, offers himself as a spotless victim to God the Father for the salvation of the world then that suffering has infinite value. So we're speaking today against the culture of death. John Paul II wrote a document, a encyclical called The Gospel of Life, and he says that there are two diametrically opposed mentalities in the country. One is the gospel of life, the other is the culture of death. We have lifted up the banner and always say yes to life. Because only God has the right to give life, and only God has the right to take life away.